This is a real moon mystery. Bizarre flashes on the moon baffle astronomers. Is it UFOs or is it meteors? What is it? Sebastian Ketley on Express UK reports unusual flashes of bright light seen on the moon and they baffle astronomers. They've been baffling astronomers for decades, if not centuries. There appears to be more than one occasion, one cause behind them. What could it be? These momentary flashes of light on the moon are often attributed to what they think are meteor strikes or perhaps electrical phenomena. There are also, also those who throw conspiracy theories into the mix suggesting that it could be UFO activity on the moon. These moon flashes tend to occur throughout the week and appear close to the moon's surface. Yet, the exact cause of these flashes remains a mystery to science. In January 2019, astronomers were stunned to see the moon briefly light up during the January total lunar eclipse. A flash was attributed to a small space rock weighing about 45 kilograms that hit the moon at breakneck speeds, of course. And these rogue impacts can cause a brief glow when they hit the moon's pop-marked surface. There's also scientists who speculate the flashes occur when charged particles from the sun interact with the lunar dust. Well, it could be mm, some kind of a rock that ignites uh, with uh, when the sun strikes it at a proper angle. Who knows? Now, um, Another theory, one which has believed uh, is being investigated by Professor Hakan Kayal of the University of Würzburg in Germany, he suggests seismic activity on the moon could be the culprit. Earthquake, moonquakes. The astronomer said the so-called transient lunar phenomena have been known since the 1950s, but they have not been sufficiently systematically and long-term uh, long observed. According to the professor's theory, Seismic activity on the moon releases gases from under the moon's surface. These gases then act as a reflective surface, glistening with light for long periods of time. Professor Kayal said seismic activities were also observed on the moon. When the surface moves, gases that reflect sunlight could escape from the interior of the moon. This could explain the luminous phenomena of which uh, last for hours, some of which last for hours. Things we didn't know, you see, what, what, what there is being revealed to us. Seismicity on the moon is not a new phenomenon. In May this year, NASA scientists astonishingly revealed the moon is shrinking like a raisin. As the moon's internal temperature cools down, the outer layers pull back and they crack, creating fissures and ridges all along the surface. This could be one of the processes behind the flashes studied by Professor Kayal. In order to better study the flashes, the space expert and his team have built a lunar telescope which they installed in a Spanish observatory April 2019. Professor Kayal said, there are simple, simply better weather conditions for observing the moon than in Germany, that is in Spain, going to Spain. Better understanding these flashes the expert said will help scientists hoping to settle the moon in the uh, future. Of course, how can you go and make a colony there where you don't know anything about what's going on with the seismicity, the gases being emitted, or the type of uh, rocks that are there? God forbid if they explode in the sunlight. I mean, <laughs> there's too many things that you don't know about the moon yet to, in order to uh, create a colony there. This is on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.